How are you? Hi, Travisine here. Azeroth, welcome back. Today we are in Felwood, guys. And we're going to be doing some quests today while we are queued up for a dungeon. We're currently waiting for a healer. Hopefully we get into Sunken Temple. If not, then we will be doing another Blackrock Depths run. And here we are at Whisperwind Grove. Cool looking place. Seems new. Got a little hearth spot over here and a uh, light point. Let's pick up some quests while we're here. Where the heck are the quest givers? I noticed like if you're, yeah, you're too high of a level, like quest givers don't really show up. There is a different satisfaction in hunting demons than in hunting noble beasts. Not everyone can appreciate it. Hunting the Ancestors damned. Watch over the you. first demons to set foot in this forest were infernals long ago. These powerful beings of stone and demonic fire fell from the sky to take this land from the burning region. The charred craters of Sh Shatterscar Vale to the south are where these infernals landed, and many still wander there. They are fierce foes, and killing them is both a worthy challenge and a noble cause. I offer reward for those who join the hunt, return here afterwards. Goodbye. The core of Crossius. The most fearsome hunter in Shatterscar Vale is known as Crossius. Though many have hunted him over the years, destruction has only made him stronger. Time after time, warlocks have come to this forest and re reanimated Crossius. He now lurks in the southeast, surrounded by demonic fire, awaiting any who come to try and claim his power. I will not have this corrupt cycle continue. Kill Crossius and bring his infernal core to me. All right, well, that's new. Hello. Greetings, warrior. Have you come to cleanse this forest? Farewell. Though we druids shun the demonic powers infesting this land, it must still be confronted. Shatterscar Vale to the south sees with corruption. The energies there are so chaotic that they manifest as violent entities, pure fell magic given form to lash out at all life. I have been keeping a close eye on those chaotic beasts and studying their strength. I need to make sure they are still weakening with time Bring me the essences they drop so that I may ensure they are diminished. Be careful. That guy's flying around with the... Uh, I think we got... We, we, I think we have that, man. It's the engineering helicopter. Fell, fell to pieces. The infernals that lurk in Shatterscar Vale are formidable, but not invincible. Much progress has been made in thinning their numbers. Destroying them is only part of the solution. However... I found that the stone that infernals are made of still contains large amounts of fell magic even after the infernals' death. The rubble of slain infernals now litters Shatter Scar Vale, leaching its corruption back into the ground. If you could collect it and bring it to me, I would be grateful. Good luck, friend. Alright, well there we go. It's a good amount of quests right there. We have one more here. Two more, actually. Might as well pick them all up. It's wonderful to see this forest grow and flourish. Every little bit you purify brings me so much joy. Watch over Running their course. I love so much to save every creature in the forest, but as you probably have seen, some are just too far gone. When we first founded Whisperwind Grove, the woods just to the south were full of beautiful coursers. Majestic and gentle creatures. The corruption here hasn't made them violent, but they've wasted away to nearly nothing. Even if they were cleansed, they would know only pain and suffering. Please, warrior, help put them down for me. Squirrely clean. Larger animals are often too far corrupted to save, but you'd be surprised how hardy the little ones are. Take the squirrels, for example. After washing in corrupted water, they can spread illness far from the original source but it's slow to affect the squirrels themselves. In fact, a simple washing will result in a clean squirrel and a safer forest. Here, take this bottle of cleaning mixture, scrab and scrub any squirrel you see in the woods to the south. They'll be thankful for it. Scrub six tainted squirrels. 
All right, here we go. Let's go save the squirrels, guys. Is that one? There's one. Let's clean him up. There's a goblin priest just hanging out, putting up dots. His name is Ichiman. And there's been a popular squirrel on social media. I forget, <laughs> forget his name, though. But, uh... I've seen a lot of memes about a squirrel recently. So I thought this quest was kind of funny when we picked it up. Get the squirrel's name. What the heck's the squirrel's name? Yeah, Peanut. Peanut <laughs> the squirrel. Shout out to Peanut. Rest in peace, man. This quest is for you. So yeah, just south of, of where I am in... Uh, it, it, the good old U.S. of A. There's a, there was a squirrel named Peanut. He was like really popular on the internet. And some person... Well, he was like a pet to this person and supposedly like having wild animals as pets are illegal where, where he is. So someone... Uh, it's kind of a sad story. Someone called in, like a viewer of his channel. And they, um, they got the authorities to come over and, and a judge signed off on the squirrel being captured and euthanized. The guy also had a, a pet raccoon as well. And I think the pet raccoon got euthanized as well, which is pretty sad, man. But at the end of the day, you know, law's the law. Even if it doesn't uh, always make that much sense. Supposedly, like, I don't know, rabies can spread or something like that. But I don't know. Who knows, man? I think the guy lived. didn't really live in, like, a big town. I don't really know. But it is what it is. There's a guy in Canada out east. I don't think he has, like, he, he feeds, like, a bunch of raccoons all the time on his videos. I forget his name. But I don't think he has those raccoons living with him, so... It's not really the same, but... He has a pretty popular, like, YouTube channel where he just goes out there and feeds the squirrels, like, hot dogs and stuff. I mean, the feeds the, the raccoons hot dogs. There's, like, 50 raccoons. And <laughs> they all just love the guy. Yeah, pretty sad story about Peanut. Felrod Courser. What the heck do we got to do? Got to slay these things? Let's throw a hatchet at this one. Let's see these ones? They got rabies. So we got to put them down. <laughs> this is how it goes. Just the way it is. There's a tainted squirrel. Gotta wash him. See the squirrels? They don't tell you to slay the squirrels. Just gotta wash them. Scrub them off. Squirrels are, uh, are important. People love squirrels, man. It's one thing I've I learned about about the about that. A lot of people were pretty damn furious what happened with Peanut, and it makes sense. Like people created a bond with them over the on the internet, right? Or I guess you would call it like a, a parasocial relationship with the squirrel. So no wonder they got pissed off.
It is kind of lame, though. They could have been like, hey, man, you got to keep it outside. You know? Just get it. Just keep it outside. No problems. I don't know if it would be able to survive out there. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I don't think they should have, like, gone to that extreme. Farewell. That's just me. That's my opinion, but whatever. Law's the law. Aren't they just adorable? It's those little victories that keep me going. We'll save this forest one squirrel at a time. Yeah, it's kind of a sad story. I'm going <laughs> to move on from that. Um... I think we got another quest here, weeding the lawn. I guess we'll pick it up over here. Oh, not yet. Yeah, Sega Genesis. Sega's uh, making a comeback. Heard about that. I'm a big fan of Sega. It was the first console, and, and Sega made me a gamer, pretty much. The uh, first game I ever played was Sonic 2, Sonic the Hedgehog. My mom was a gamer, and um, she'd play as Sonic. I'd follow her around as Tails, and we would just play the game. Good times. Yeah, I think yeah. My mom, my mom made me a gamer big time. So I was a I was a sag kid. Played a lot of games like Kid Chameleon, Ninja Turtles. Um, some other ones I remember. Bob, Earthworm Jim, <laughs> uh, Bubsy. <laughs> That's another one. A lot of good, a lot of games. I wish Earthworm Jim came out again, man. Earthworm Jim was a badass game. And so what Sega is doing now, they're kind of like an entertainment company. Company, they're tr Supposedly they're going to try to be like Disney. So there's going to be a lot of Sega type of movies coming out. Supposedly it's doing really well in Asia. Um, two Sonic movies have, co have come out. I haven't watched them. Shame on me. But I, <laughs> I'm not really a movie guy. I should probably check it out. I did watch... Um, the Fallout show, and I loved it. And what they're doing, Sega, is um, they're releasing a game, and then they put the show out, which is pretty smart, because once you... Uh, if you watch a show, like when I watched Fallout, I wanted to play Fallout after. And a lot of people... And since the show was successful, Fallout, a lot of people were playing like the Fallout what games. Uh, after the after the the show released, thank you, Pexel Gix. They won't spread the corruption any further, and they won't be in pain either. Good luck. We got 250 co quests completed. Weeding the lawn in a place like this, even something as simple as growing flowers and pulling weeds, can require some heroic effort. This orchard, orchard, lashers, the orchard lashers that grow on all sides of the grove are a sign of healing. But they're not flawless. Some of them do succumb to demonic corruption now and then. I found the best way to check it is to just pull them up. If they are normal, they'll wander around a bit and reroute themselves. If they aren't, well, you'd better be ready for a they're fight. Models. So we gotta do a little bit of a little bit of gardening today. Cleaning up the lawn. But yeah, it's a it's a smart move by Sega. I'm happy that Sega has kind of made a comeback with that, because I I thought Sega was done after the Dreamcast. I thought they were just like Dreamcast didn't do too well compared to you know like Xbox and PlayStation. So uh, that was kind of the end of Sega for a while. But it looks like they're making a comeback. And I think they're supposedly going to be selling a lot of their games on Steam. It's one awesome. Steam is pretty damn awesome, man. I think that's what made me like, want to be a, a PC gamer was Steam.
and and WoW and StarCraft. Those two games are a big reason why I want to start playing on PC. Did a little bit of gardening there. Turn this in quick. How may I help? It's hard work, but it's rewarding when you see them growing up big and strong. When they're not covered with demonic thorns, that is. Alright, so there isn't really any upgrades here. So we'll take the plate pants yeah, and sell them. And... So we unlock some more quests, but we're going to head south. We're going to do a bunch of quests down here and come back up. It's taken a while for us to get the Q. Q-pop is, uh, it's not what it used to be, guys, being a tank, you know? But it is what it is. We're just going to mix in the quest. I think we're going to do this until we get up to TBC, which shouldn't take too long. Once we hit 58, we'll be going through the dark portal. But I think we'll do a mix of questing and dungeons. Yeah, gaming in Asia is probably... I think it's going to blow up. Or already is. It's mostly uh, PUBG Mobile. It's huge over there. But it's a it's a phone game, but yeah, supposedly mobile gaming is pretty big in Asia. And India is a growing population. They have a lot of youth over there. So we're probably like in the next ten to ten to twenty years, we're gonna see a bunch of games probably deciding to cater. To uh, to India, because why not, right? It's gonna be tons of gamers in India, billions. I think uh, India just passed China actually as the the world's most populated country. They got over 1.4 billion people, which is quite quite a bit. Oh! It's way more than my than the country I live in. Canada. Not a lot of people here, man. I think we're just closing in on like 40 million. I think there's more people in California than there are in Canada. Get to fight this thing, the infernal so yeah, these are the infernals. Yeah, I can imagine mobile phones are getting pretty good. I've been kinda out of the loop with mobile games. Because my phone is pretty damn old. I got like a, a Samsung S7. Just to how I am with technology, I wait a while. Probably gonna be getting a phone, a new phone now, because one thing I figured out about phones, guys, they go out of date. They stop updating them. <laughs> I was like, I, I was opening up an app on my phone. And the phone's like, yeah, your phone's it's so out of date. Well, it's just saying your phone's out of date. You need to update it if you want to continue using this app. I, I look, I'm like, I can't even update my phone. I check the last update was in 2020. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so... I'll be getting a new phone this year, even though that this phone still works. I keep my phones in pretty good condition. So, and I like holding on to technology for a while. I got my video cards at 1070. It's holding up great. It's a little, I think the fan's making a little bit of sound. It might be the video card fan or the PC fan, but. Like my PC's been holding up for over like six to seven years now. And I've been looking into phones. I think I'm going to get the, the Pixel 8. 
and what sold me on the Pixel 8, like usually I get Samsung. Um, Pixel 8 is going to support, it's, it's, it was came out last year, but it's going to support, um, it has software support and security support for up to seven years. While Samsung is like four years of software updates and five years of security, so that's going to take me to 2030. And I wouldn't be surprised if I kept that until 2030, to be honest. But we'll see. You never know. So that was the main reason why I'm probably going to get it. Is because of the software support. Because I don't want to run into that again. Except like an app telling me my phone's out of date. So... Yeah, some people, you know, they're big. Like, they get new phones every year. Uh, that's crazy to me. Especially the new phones. I was looking at, like, the, the Pixel 9 and the iPhone 16. They're, like, over a thousand bucks. So this is going to be a, a pretty big jump, you know what I mean? It's S7 to a Pixel 8. Camera is like way better. There he is, Crossius. This guy looks badass. He's not in vanilla. Let's get to take a take a good look at Crossius here. Let's go to battle. Crossius Crush. Pexel Crush. Crush. Look how small I am compared to Crossius. Alright, so this is going to be a good amount of XP here. How are we doing? We're doing all right. Still waiting for that healer. Yeah, I could imagine, man. Like a lot of a lot of people spend like um, supposedly from what I was reading in India, they spend like two hundred to four. Between like two hundred to four hundred dollars on on phones there, or like gaming for gaming, and for obviously other reasons too. Phones do more I than just you. game, right? But I could imagine if gaming PCs, like decent ones, as like ten years go on, like uh, you could get a pretty good gaming PC with old parts for probably for probably around like two to four hundred USD, I assume. Right now, I think that price is probably near like a thousand bucks. I thank you for hunting in my stead, warrior. I found I must pace myself. Finding too much thrill in hunting demons is a dangerous path. Goodbye. The core must be kept away from Shatterscar Vale. Be careful. This foul chunk is what those warlocks sought year after year. I will protect it myself or destroy it if possible and ensure Crossius never rises again. All right, so I guess we'll go with the Infernal Breastplate. It's not better than our Thor Thorazan's Breastplate, so sell that. Be wary with the essence. It is as poisonous as it is powerful. I can tell just from the size of these that the fell taint is healing slowly but significantly. Thank you, Pexelgix. I will ensure these are properly purged. May the stars guide you. Do be sure to pick up after your own kills as well. Good luck, friend. It's good to see someone who cares about keeping the forest clean. Thank you, Paxel Kicks. Farewell. Well, there we go. Decent amount of XP. There we're halfway to level Hello. 55. Wanted the Demon Hunter. Wow, they got Demon Hunters. This was a little hint at uh, what they were going to bring out in Legion. Bring this murderer to justice. Since reclaiming Jadefire Run... From the Seder, the Emerald Circle has sent many druids to begin the long task of cleansing the, the ruins. 
Last night, several of them were murdered by a night elf. The witnesses say it was a demon hunter, a crazed disciple of Illidan, a rare sight. No doubt he's gone mad with power just like his master. I'll pay top bounty for proof of this murderer's death. He's been spotted just off the road to the north in a valley beneath Jadefire Run. Good luck, friend. I've never played Demon Hunter on the channel. That'd be cool to do. do a little playthrough of a Demon Hunter. Nature and nurture, the ancient protectors of Iron Tree Woods to the north have been dead for years. Their bodies, a grim symbol of the damage to these lands. Every season we take the water from this moon well and pour it on the ground before them, hoping it will nurture new life. If you'd like, you can deliver the water yourself. It is an excellent opportunity for reflection. Take this vial and fill it at the moon well and pour it on the very top of the small hill between the three angels. And here we go. Let's get some moon well water. There we go. We got our moon well water. Let's head over to the ancients. But yeah, I think in uh, five to ten years, gaming won't uh, require like such a good PC, man. Like, it seems like video cards now are more focused on AI. And VR seems to be the new type of gaming that's going to... Uh, Oh, Arthas is fighting a demon hunter? Illidan Stormrage? Wow, that looks amazing. That's so cool. And like the other version, of, yeah, VR seems to be... Um, Seems to like need like you need a pretty good video card for VR. But if you play games like this, like WoW, man, like especially classic WoW, you won't need a good, good video card. And there's a lot of cool indie games, man, that don't require like an amazing video card either. I think it's kind of smart for games not to focus too much on, on graphics and just more on, on gameplay because then more people can play, right? Cars, is this it? It says we had to put it once up here. Right? Oh, wow. Iron tree watered. The moonwell water quickly seeps into the ground with a soft glow. A few moments later, a rustling noise is heard, and a small sprout pops up before your eyes. The tiny sproutling shuffles around, motioning you towards the south. You can barely hear a taint vo faint voice. Soil. It looks like it wants fresh soil. Maybe you should guide it to some of the richer-looking pashes. All right, so where do you want to go, man? Let's find him some soil. Seems like there's some, some rich patches over here. I wish we could rocket jump over this fell water, but we were not able to. I'm gonna check this out. That's another reason why I'm kind of hesitant on getting a new PC. Like, I mostly just play WoW. If I started playing games like Cyberpunk, then I would probably want to get a new PC. The last game I note that I played that I noticed, um, my graphics card's getting a little old. <laughs> was, uh, forget the name of the game. I'll have to look on Steam here.
It was that liberation game. It's like I can't believe I forgot the name of it. It's all about spreading democracy. Damn, what's it called? Hell Divers. I played a little bit of Hell Divers. And I noticed that, yeah, my graphics card, uh, I couldn't really play the game on that high specs. But supposedly they're coming out with new video cards next year, so. If, um, if they're hopefully, and hopefully they're priced better than the 40 series was, because, man, the 40 series was considered to be quite the jump in price. You know, the value per, per dollar that you got was supposedly not that good unless you were getting, I guess, the 4090. And then like the value per dollar for that, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> it is what it is. You're get it's the best video card out there, so. I guess you're getting good value for, for the dollar. I don't know, who knows. The ceiling co coils its roots in what looks like a happy manner, grow big. Yeah, I just heard a lot of bad things about the 40 series just from reviewers like not a lot of people were happy about it with it because everybody like loved the 30 series it was, it was supposedly priced pretty damn well like msrp but um uh crypt all the crypto mining crap like and uh people like buying it and selling it for higher price Greetings. scalpers and stuff Kind of ruined that. It's good that's all over. Here to put an end to your killing. Blind fool, you have no idea what you're doing. You don't really. The night elves just don't like you guys. Enough, stay your hand. How may I help? Leave me be. Farewell. How noble of you to blindly kill without question, to come from my head on the barest word of another. Pretty damn true. Sheath your fury and hear my tale first. You'll see what noble ignorance has done to these lands. I'm here to bear witness to the memory of my master and the truth of the past. I hope Illidan makes a comeback, man, in retail. A destiny to flame and sorrow. Goodbye. My kind has always been hated for what we do, despised outcasts, accused of corruption beyond redemption. Yet if it was not for a demon hunter, these very woods would be the greatest stronghold of the Burning Legion on Azeroth. I speak of my master Illidan, Stormrage the Betrayer. See for yourself, see what occurred here when Illidan was first freed and the demonic forces of the Dreadlord Tachondrius ruled this forest completely unopposed. Let's relive the battle. I am free after 10,000 years, yet still my own brother thinks I'm a villain. I'll show him my true power. I'll show him that the demons have no hold over me. He's speaking about uh, Malfurion, that's his brother. Are you certain of that, Demon Hunter? Are you certain your will is your own? Ildan says, you reek of death, human. You'll regret approaching me. Arthur says, come then. You'll find that we're evenly matched. And it's his death coil. Who's this guy? Ichimon's back? We have to help him? Should I taunt him and see how much he does? <laughs> he, he should have one-shot me there. That would have been hilarious. I wish this guy queued up, man. <laughs> you need a healer. Queue up. <laughs> the Dreadlord who commands this undead army is called Tachondrius. He controls a powerful warlock artifact called the Skull of Gul'dan. 
is responsible for corrupting these forests. And you wish for me to steal it? Why? Let's just say I have no love for Dicondrius, and the lord I serve would benefit from the Legion's downfall. Yeah, he's talking about, um... I can't believe I forget his name. Hello. Guy from the Shadowlands. And so my master set out to find a skull, risking his own life against an army of demons to find the source of corruption in Felwood. Imagine if he had not. Imagine what these woods would look like if the Skull of Gul'dan had continued its work undisturbed. Farewell. Goodbye. Skull of Gul'dan. Elden set out to find the Skull of Gul'dan. He fought through armies of demons to reach it, slaying them with the power that made him a hated outcast. See him in Battle Warrior. Witness one that fought the fiercest against the corruptors of Felwood and struck at its source. Asha Fela. I'm getting a history lesson here. That is where the skull of Gul'dan is being kept. These paltry demons will not prevent me from claiming it. Let's help them out. Even more damage than Illidan. Yeah, Zoval. That was the name of, uh, that's Arthas' leader. Father's master, let's say, to be served. And so did uh, Sylvanas. Funny how Sylvanas hated Arthas, but she ended up saving the servant. The same, the same master as him. Now at least demons will no longer corrupt the forest. But if I claim it's this power is my own, I will become stronger than any of Archimonde's lieutenants. Yes, the power should be mine. And then he ends up serving uh, the Legion and Sargeras and Archimonde and Kil'jaeden. And there he is. I am complete. Really, that all that did was corrupt him. Can I assist you? Goodbye. Now you are beginning to see. Farewell. The fall of Tachondras. Yes, Ilden took the power of the Skull of Gul'dan for himself. But did he flee with it into the night? Did he use it for his own glory? No. His very first action was to use his new power to assault the Dreadlord Tachondras. Witness his triumph, warrior. Witness how Illidan reclaimed Felwood from the demons and the thanks he was given. Farewell. What? Who are you? Let's see how confident you are against one of your own kind, Dreadlord. They had death. Yeah, to Conjurus, I, I think he's, yeah, he serves the Burning Legion, right? Yeah, he's not, he doesn't serve death or not a part of the Scourge or anything like that. But I, in the current time of WoW, the Burning Legion has been completely defeated. Sargeras is uh, imprisoned right now, same with Illidan. And that's why, uh... Foul demon, what have you done with my brother? It is I, Malfurion. This is what I've become. And there's Tyrand and Malfurion. No, Illidan, how could you? Literally saved Felwood. <laughs> the leader of the undead. He was the leader of the undead. And has been destroyed, and the forest will heal in time. So yeah, he did serve, I guess he served Arthas for Zoval. At the cost of your soul... You are no brother of mine. Be gone from this place and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. I am listening. Goodbye. Do you see now? For doing what was needed to drive the demons from these lands, my master was banished. Now these druids pick up the pieces, patting themselves on the back for scrubbing the remaining vestiges of the Legion's forces. But that's not why I killed them. Alright, none of the gear here is an upgrade. Asha fella. Take the piece of cells yeah, for the most. Is. Seavers in our mist. 
Now that you've had a lesson in keeping an open mind, perhaps you'd like to learn why I killed those druids. The answer is simple. They are not druids at all. Demons still roam the ruins, now hiding in plain sight in the guise of friendly caretakers. See for yourself, this blindfold is soaked with demon blood. Take it north up the hills to Jadefire Run and place it on your eyes. It will show even the most oblivious fool the true nature of any demon. Okay, so let's head up there. Still waiting for a healer. Oh, if that guy queued up we got in a dungeon, that would have been awesome. But yeah, Tachondrius, I guess, yeah, you serve the undead. So we got to put this, this thing on, right? We're turning ourselves into a demon hunter. Jadefire Shifter Intruder. But yeah, now, so now that the, the Burning Legion's gone... They, uh, the Void has no one to, to contend with. Supposedly, like, the Burning Legion and uh, the Void were, would, like, battle each other in space, trying to, you know, take over planets and destroy them. I'm not too sure how true that is, but that's what I've heard. And now that the Burning Legion is gone, their leader is, is, is in prison, Sargeras. The Void is just running rampant throughout the universe, and... I guess they, they got Azeroth in their sights. And same with uh, Death. Death has kind of been put to rest too since, you know, they think Zoval got defeated in Shadowlands. So really the only I guess evil we're fighting now is considered evil would be would be the void the only ones left I have a feeling the titans aren't aren't as good as as, as the game portrays them to be I wouldn't be surprised if the titans became like kind of like an evil that we might have to deal with Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. And then there's the light. Yeah, the light could be evil, too. You know, like the Scarlet Monastery and all those... All those guys. Supposedly there's, like, an Emperor of Light that we don't know of yet. Fever's in our midst. Enough. Your enthusiasm is impressive, but foolish. Gazing through the veil for too long without practice will break your mind. The rest... Will be mine, Paxel Gex. For now, I summon you back to me. Navarax's Gambit. I've been preying on these demonic imposters for some time now, and I have finally gleaned the location of their leader. It is none other than Arc Druid Navarax, the leader of the Emerald Circle. Wow, that's insane. I don't think they're going to like us uh, slaying him. The demon shields itself with innocence. If I entered Whisperwind Grove to hunt him, I would be set upon by ignorant protectors, but you, you can catch him unaware. Return to Whisperwind Grove, climb the Druid Tower, and you'll find Navarax at the top in his room amidst the bows. All right, let's do this. You have been indoctrinated by the Demon Hunter. He has uh, illuminated our mind. Who do we believe? Well, I guess since we're doing this quest, we, we're on the side of the Demon Hunter now. The thing is, how are we going to prove this to all of the, the people that live here? Isn't he supposed to be here? Oh, yeah, he's got to go a little bit. A little bit higher to the top. I have a feeling he'll probably turn into a Dreadlord. That's what usually happens. We'll see what happens. So. Yes, my child. You're accused of being a demon in disguise, Navarax. That's your real name, Dead. Oh. 
Oh, he's not a dreadlord. Get yeah, what they call these guys. I can't believe I forgot. Death will tell a different story. What is going on here? Look, oh, look who it is. Ichimon. The Heart Druid. How in the world? I must tell the others you should fight Hunter Solura right away. Yeah, who are these guys again? Let me look it up. Night Elf Demons. Google is saying Night Elf Demons are called squirrels. <laughs> Demon Hunter. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough to... I, I forget what these guys are called. Night Elves with horns. Satyrs. Yeah, I, I didn't even have those. I figured it out. They're, they're called satyrs, I believe. So I remember you fight him in... Uh, down... There's a bunch of them you fight in uh, in Ashenvale. Look right over here. I think they're just night elves who drank fell water. I am honored. I find it hard to believe everything you say, but the body of the demon is grim proof. I will order an investigation into the druids at Jade Fire Run right away. And make sure my higher ups know the demon hunter may be content to remain in exile. Yeah, made a mistake there, Huntress Salura. But can't blame her, right? She's probably just following orders from that archer who was a satyr. Not many upgrades here, guys. It's a nice back piece, but it's not better than the one we're wearing. So we'll take uh, the signet and sell it. Be careful. And I think we're going to call this episode here, guys. Next episode, we'll continue questing in Bellwood. And hopefully we get into a dungeon, guys. Let's look how long this queue was. 49 minutes. We had three DPS and a tank for the whole time. And we just couldn't find that healer. But hopefully next episode we do. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.